One of the most popular terminal applications out there is a program called NeoFetch. NeoFetch is a command line system information tool. You see it in a ton of screenshots out there. You see it on subreddits like r slash Unix porn. Anytime you want to rice your desktop and make a really cool screenshot, it's almost a requirement that NeoFetch has to be in the screenshot. NeoFetch again. It's just a system information tool that provides a little bit of information about your current situation. Now there's one problem with NeoFetch and uh, the reason I kind of quit using NeoFetch, I no longer you know, have it launched by default in either my Bash shell or my ZSH shell is because it's slow and quite frankly it's kind of bloated. NeoFetch is bloat and I found an alternative to it the other day called PFetch. That's what I want to share with you today. Let's get started. Before I get started, I just want to briefly mention a little more about NeoFetch. Now, NeoFetch is a fantastic program, but the reason I quit using it actually a few months back, I just I took it out of my Bash RC and my ZSHRC files. I no longer want NeoFetch to ever run automatically. It's because it takes you know like a second to load. A second doesn't sound like much, but when I want to open, my, I want to just open my terminal and immediately begin typing, and NeoFetch was kind of slow to load. The reason it's slow to load is because it is too much stuff going on in NeoFetch. It's trying to show a little bit too much information. If I pull the terminal back up, you can see this Arco Linux logo, and, and this is the same size for all the logos, regardless of distribution, takes up too much space. That's a big logo, and then it's pulling down all this information. OS, kernel, updime, packages, shell, resolution, window manager, theme, icons, terminal, terminal font, CPU, GPU, and RAM. Not to mention it does give the uh, host and username of the machine, and it even gives the color pa palette for your terminal color scheme as well. Now, that's a lot of information, but do you really need that information? For one thing, if this was information for me only, I don't need any of this information, to be honest. I know what OS I'm running. I know what kernel I'm probably running. I know the shell I'm in. I know my screen resolution. I know the window manager I'm running. So really, none of this is useful information to me, except maybe the uptime, maybe the kernel version, if I wasn't sure what kernel I was running. But for screenshots, NeoFetch is really cool. Like if you want to share a screenshot, it's nice because people will often ask you, what are you running? They'll know I'm running Arco Linux. But a lot of this inf information is pointless for somebody in a screenshot to know. They don't need to know how exactly how many packages I have installed on the system. They don't care about my uptime. So it's just a little bit too much information. So I wanted something a little bit more minimal than NeoFetch. Now again, NeoFetch is fantastic, it's just a little slow. Well, I found this GitLab page the other day, UFetch. Now UFetch is really nice. It is a collection of basically just simple shell scripts. Uh, I, I don't know how many, maybe about 50. Anyway, you go in here and you find the UFetch script for your distro. I'm running Arco Linux, so I just grab this script for UFetch-Arco and it will display this in the shell this very clean and minimal Arco Linux logo. Much smaller than that NeoFetch logo. So I really like that. It takes up a lot less space. And then it doesn't share like uh, 15 different system monitoring, you know, pieces of information. It just loads user at host name, of course, and then OS, kernel, uptime, packages installed, and the shell I'm running. And that's it. Uh, it doesn't tell me the terminal font I'm using or the CPU I'm using doesn't give me information about RAM or anything like that honestly if I want to know about RAM usage you know I'm gonna fire up something like HTOP anyway I don't know having that load up in something like NeoFetch which doesn't update in real time anyway is kind of pointless so this, these simple UFetch scripts were really nice so I'm, I'm gonna post a link to UFetch in the comments, but UFetch was not what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to talk about this over on GitHub, pfetch. Now pfetch, what they did is they took some of those scripts from UFetch, these simple scripts, and they took this and made it into a more interactive tool. Instead of having to go grab the specific UFetch script for your distro, with pfetch it automatically determines what distro you're running 
and it runs the appropriate script. So pfetch is written in POSIX compliant shell, which is fantastic, and you get something much more minimal like this. Here is an example of the output from pfetch right here in this screenshot. Very simple, very clean. Let me show you it on my system. Let me get back to my terminal. I'm going to clear the screen here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to relaunch my uh, ZSH session because I already have ZSH in my ZSHRC file. I've written it to automatically run pfetch. And that is what pfetch looks like on my computer. Now, one problem I notice right away using pfetch, the OS is wrong. Arch Linux, I'm running Arco. And yes, there's actually a Arco Linux script in pfetch. I don't know why it determines that I'm running Arch instead of Arco, so that's a glitch. I'm sure I could probably fix that. Then the host, I'm assuming this is supposed to be like a host machine, maybe OEM manufacturer stuff. I don't know. I would probably just delete that, put something else there myself. Uh, kernel, uptime, number of packages installed. I do notice it doesn't separate packages the way NeoFetch does. NeoFetch tells me the packages that are installed from the repos as well as packages that are installed as a flat pack and as a snap. Here it just tells me 1,667 packages. I'm not exactly sure if it includes snaps and flat packs in that. I, I have to check on that. And it tells me what the RAM usage was when I launched this. I'm going to go back to the pfetch github page and on their github page this file right here pfetch is actually the script and that is actually what you execute to run pfetch and it's just a simple shell script it's about a thousand lines ten it looks like 1030 lines of just shell scripting basically all it does is it asks your computer exactly what OS it is and then it you know spits out you know the, re the appropriate logo and system information so if it's Alpine it draws this logo if it's Arch it draws this logo which is you know what it's currently drawing on mine because it incorrectly determined I was running Arch but really I'm running Arco you see they have a logo for Arco again it's, it's some kind of glitch it's but anyway it's got, you know, Debian, Elementary, Fedora, you know, OpenSUSE, Gen 2, Ubuntu, and Mint, and everything else in here. Uh, it's even got some of the BSDs. That's the OpenBSD logo. Pop OS is in here, Slackware, and even Void. Anyway, what I really like about this is it loads much quicker than what NeoFetch did. So let me load NeoFetch so you can see. So if I run NeoFetch one more time, and that actually wasn't too bad. Of course, I, I this is a beast of a machine I'm on, too. These are good specs I have. But, you know, it still takes just a second. But now let me run pfetch. So let me relaunch ZSH. You know, pfetch just loads almost instantly. It's a little quicker, and it's quite, quite frankly, it's just a little cleaner, right? This is just a little cleaner. I would prefer having this in a screenshot because NeoFetch, I don't know, for me... It's, it's just a little bit too much. It's a little too gaudy. We're putting too much in the terminal, right? And it's information nobody cares about. Does anybody really care? You know, uh, my icon theme is Sardi Arc in the screenshot where I'm showing a terminal anyway. I didn't even know what icon set I'm, I was running because I rarely ever open a graphical file manager anyway. So the icon set. Uh, you know, one interesting thing I just realized as I'm making this video. So this is the NeoFetch GitHub. And it uh, looks like it's Dylan A. Raps is the username Delana Raps, maybe. It looks like it's a, the avatar anyway is of a woman. Anyway, look at the GitHub page for pfetch. It's the same lady. So <laughs> it's the same person that made NeoFetch made pfetch. Very cool. So you've got NeoFetch, more bloated option, pfetch for the more minimalist. I kind of like it. I need to dig around in the code and figure out why Arco Linux is not being registered correctly in my pfetch. Of course, if it really bothered me that much, I could hack on the code. I could actually just go grab one of the ufetch scripts if I wanted to, you know, over on GitLab. I'm not sure exactly who's uh, maintaining these scripts, but I could just use the ufetch Arco, which is basically what pfetch was using anyway, and just... Because I, do I really need a massive 1,000 line shell script to determine what OS and window manager and everything I'm running when I could just go grab this, I don't know, 50 line script? That might be the more minimal option either way. Anyway, before I go, 
And this show was made possible by Ansem, First Chris, Second Chris, DJ Dylan, George Mitchell, Natek, Philip, Rob, Robert, Sam, and Willie. They are the producers of the show. They are my highest tier patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, you wouldn't know about P-Fitch right now. Also brought to you by all those other fine ladies and gentlemen, all those names you see on the screen that help support my work over on Patreon. Without these guys, again, the show wouldn't be possible. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.